It is only Thursday, but I have a long weekend ahead of me. And this is because tomorrow we have a public holiday, and this is for the AFL Grand Final Weekend. But I'm going to spend my long weekend in a garden. Where else? So my plan for this weekend is to take apart this Aeonium patch. And as you can see, they're starting to creep out towards the, the stone steps that I laid down. So I want to trim them, maybe reduce them, make, make them closer to the wall again, closer to the fence, like when I started before. It's only about two seasons. Yeah, it's two seasons since I started working on this area and my, the Aeonius have grown. When I started here, I only stuck down a few cuttings and over the winter they just thrived and expanded and multiplied and creeped out. So yeah, it's about time I did some pruning and now I know how much, uh, how much space I should give them. Because at the time, I, I had individual tiny cuttings and I underestimated how much space they would need. So, I'm just having a good look now, so I, I would have a good idea of what I would have to do tomorrow. So I would be starting tomorrow morning when, you know, I have a better view of the area. And, well, this is Australia. You know how there are many critters at night. So just to be safe, I'm going to do this in the morning. One of the other things I plan to do this weekend is to propagate and multiply some of my jelly beans. It's quite dark here, so I'll just grab the light. So I'm planning to multiply these clumps here. I'm going to take a few heads, cut them, grab some leaves and propagate those. I'll also do this on Sidum pachyphylums, the larger type of jelly beans. I have some clumps here, but they're only local to this area. I do have more clumps in another area, but this ones, they need to be separated because they're starting to crowd in this area and I want to have more of them. I want to spread them out. So I'm going to cut them, pick some heads, and pull out some leaves so I can propagate. All right, so I've got some light. It's quite bright, but it's all right. Wow, that rhymed. Okay, anyway, I'm going to take some of the mature heads, the ones that are pretty long and trailing. Just at least they would have the most vigor in terms of growth. So there's one. Well, they're jelly beans. The leaves just readily fall out. And this one. There. Maybe I should get one more. I see this one. There. I think that's enough for the Sidum Rubra Tinctum. Now I'm going for my Pachyphylum. I'm not sure if I should chop them, but I guess that's what I'm going to do. Or should I just pull this out? Let me check. Oh, it's connected to another one. I'll just chop it off. It's an offset after all. There. There's one. I think I'll just get two heads. Yeah. This one should be enough, or maybe go for three.
There. Well, these are two heads. And that's that's all right. Yeah, I'm all right with this. Although maybe tomorrow when I work on the aeoniums, I could split them up even more. So they would occupy this space. So we'll see what happens in the morning. For now, I'll just work with these and I'll split them up for propagation. So as per usual, I'm going to pick some leaves from the bottom, work my way upwards, and just lay them on the soil in the tray. So jelly beans. There's a lot here. And I'm pretty sure they will multiply in no time. No time at all. Since the, the bald spot goes all the way until here, I'm going to pick all of the leaves up until that point. It's just a, an aesthetic decision. You can pick all, all the way to the top if you want to. But I just like seeing it compact. There's one more here. And yeah. Looks like a little lollipop. I'm going to do the same for the others. So in this case, the, the highest bald spot is here. I'm going to pick everything below it. There. Two down. Put the leaves in the tray. Now this one. There are two heads here. I'm going to separate them by chopping off the offset. Oh, this is nice. Has a pop already. Anyway, as expected, since this has been growing in the shade, in the shade of the uh, under the other uh, offsets, this one is quite etiolated, even though it's exposed to the elements. That's how much sun they need. And if you have a look at the leaves, the bottom ones, they are quite spaced apart. So to maintain, to maintain the compactness, the tips, well, I want to maintain the compactness. So I'm going to remove everything at the bottom and leave the compact ones at the top. Yes, it's good. And finally, this one. It's trying to go. It's trying to grow an offset at the very top. I'm going to leave it. I'm. I'm looking at this uh, empty spot here, though. I'm going to remove leaves all the way until here. So, yeah, just go go crazy. And yeah, this should be good, good enough. And now, to the Pacify Looms. So far, this one is looking perfect. But I want to get some leaves anyway. So maybe I'll get half of them until here. Unlike the smaller jelly beans, these ones are... Uh, they tend to hold hold the stem more so it takes a bit more effort just a bit to remove the leaves there I'm happy with this again I'm going to do the same for this one going to take half of the leaves yep I think this is good enough and there are two here I'm going to separate them I'll just cut this and 
Let me just remove a few of the leaves. Doesn't have enough anyway. Start with. Yeah, I think this is good enough. And finally, this one. It's, it's nice how they form a spiral pattern when they grow bigger. Because when they're smaller, like this one, it looks quite random. But when they get older, the leaves form a spiral pattern like a staircase. It's really, really lovely. The reason I still leave half of them because is because I want to still be able to use this in my landscapes. And the extra stem allows me to give them a foothold, you know, when I just stick them in the soil. So that's that. And now that I'm done harvesting the leaves, I'm just going to set this aside and transfer the leaves to this tray. I already know what these are, so I don't need to add, to add identification tags. It's pretty easy to tell them apart anyway. So what I'm going to do next is just to rearrange the, the leaves. It will take me some time, so I'm going to pause the video here. So here's the tray now, after several minutes lining them all up. So far I've used the Sedum Pachyphylum, which are these longer ones here and Sidum rubratinctum, the green ones here. But I just remembered that I have another variety which they call Aurora. It's, it tends to get more pink and red. It's more pale compared to the green one here. And in winter, oh my, they, they go really, really pink. So I'll go check if I can find them. Maybe I can show you. All right, so from what I could remember, I planted him I planted them somewhere here. So I'm going to go in and see if I can find them. Yeah. I was correct, I was right. They're here. So behind them are the green ones which turn they they also turn red, but these ones are paler. They start more pale and they are readily pinkish and turn really red in winter. These ones are starting to revert. They used to be bright pink, bright red, because it's starting to get warm. But anyway, I want to get, I want to make more of these ones, because most of my jelly beans are the green types. I'm going to cut off some heads here, and hopefully I'll be able to make more pups. There's three heads on this one. And I'll go get some more. And here they are. So if you have a look at them, the leaves are paler compared to the, the other type, the green ones. So in summer, or in the warmer months, they don't look particularly striking, but man, in the colder months, these ones, ah, they're really, really good. They turn fully red, while these ones uh, tend to be just darker red, like this, although this is starting to revert to the green. So I'm going to do the same as I did to the others. I'm going to separate the heads that I can see here. There's quite a few. And I'm going to pull out, remove the lower leaves so I can use them for propagation. So they're all in now. And the color difference is pretty obvious. So now all I have to do is to move this tray to my propagation rack. And as for these cuttings, I'm just going to leave them here for a day or so before I plant them back into the landscape. Or depending on how soon I finish the aeoniums, 
So I plan to put this back over in that spot. They make good ground cover, especially around rockeries. So I'm also thinking that maybe I could plant them along these rocks here. But I need to make a lot more of these first. So maybe this is a project for next autumn, I guess. It will take a while before these ones grow. <laughs> 